Okay, so it's been brought to my attention that we need to have a talk about Gabby Hanna. The past 24 hours on her TikTok have led to her making about 100 to 120 TikToks, all of them pointing towards some sort of episode that she's been having. It also includes a random guy, a stranger, who found her address and went to her house, and she befriended him like it was a sitcom, and then kicked him out like it was a sitcom part 2. I don't know much about Gabby Hanna, full disclosure. I don't know much about her past, I don't know much about her present. The only thing I've ever really done about her was read her poetry. And it definitely changed nothing about my life. But I'm now here because so many people have asked me to do a video regarding her and the TikToks that she's been recently doing. And I'll tell you what, from first glance, I can say this much. She needs love and support and a little bit of help. I don't normally make serious videos because I don't know how to. And this is not going to fully be a serious video because I'm going to say some weird things from time to time. However, at the end of the day, at the bottom of it, besides her being an internet personality, what I see is a person who is in need of help. And that is why I am making this. We're going to take a look at all these TikToks together because I'm going to need your help because one of them was particularly scary, like a ghost came out and I shit my pants. So I don't know why she's trying to scare me, but that was really bad. While we're watching this, you can comment below as much as you want. I'm just trying to get to the bottom of everything. I'm sure everyone else is and why the people closest to her aren't helping her or offering some sort of blanket of safety, which she seems to be needing right now because it's very evident. I also want to maybe try and break down why this is happening or at least uh, offer some theories because I think it's quite an interesting thing that's been happening. And I guess we should just start by looking at Gabby Hanna, the person. So she started on Vine in maybe 2014. She rose to popularity there. And then when Vine ended, she went on to YouTube, had a very successful career. I think she's got about 5 million followers, 5 million subscribers. I'm on the platform. I don't even know what they're called. Subscribe to me, please. 16 Leo. <laughs> I started to know about her in like late 2017, 2018 when she wrote those poems. I got them, I reacted to them when I started my channel, and that was the last that I heard of her. People have been telling me to react to her, they've been saying she's controversial, I've seen many videos on her being controversial, I've heard her sing, the notes are controversial. So what if I'm the monster? Besides that, I never really knew why anybody seemed to have an issue with her. I know that in more recent times, she's opened up about her mental health and even just last month disclosed that she has, I believe, bipolar disorder, which is uh, great in the fact that she's able to express to her audience and fans that she's going through these things. It's good to be able to talk about this. However, in saying that, I feel like the biggest drug in YouTube recently with the next three or four or five people that I'm going to talk about is clout. People just seem to get on this clout train they seem to like snort that clout and just turn into another human being another beast if you will not a mr beast i don't know what clout does to people but it certainly turns them into something that they're not and as much as i'd like to sit here and be a hundred percent sorry for gabby Hanna, i also think the fact that she is putting these videos out knowing damn well that they're getting millions of views on her tiktok somewhat has to do with the fact that she craves that clout she craves that attention because so many people on youtube who have been uh, forgotten or have their views dipped have resorted to extreme measures in order to keep their fans watching because everybody knows like nikocado or like anyone else else if you do something extreme people watch because they can't look away and isn't that what's happening with gabby most people are watching knowing that they're not happy with the situation nobody's comfortable watching this however everyone's looking like oh, i don't know what to do but i'm going to keep clicking and that's what's been happening and i think she knows this because she's played the game for so long yes i do feel very sorry for her but at the same time i'm like please put the phone down please put that beautiful iphone 13 pro max full of sacks you took nudes and HD quality phone down. If you zoom in, you can see the disappointment on my face. Can you just put that phone down and maybe chill out? I'm sorry, I'm gonna have to be Papa Leo or Dad. Leo. By the way, just for full disclosure, Gabby Hanna has had controversies. We might as well get that out the way before we start actually talking about the TikToks. In 2017, she talked about someone who OD'd without their consent. She did apologize for that. Naughty Naughty. 2018, she sold some free brushes that costed shipping prices, which rightly so angered some of her fans. I always hate that when you say it's free, all you have to do is pay for shipping. That's like a doctor saying you don't have any problems except to cancel. And of course, in 2019, how could I forget? She told Trisha Paytas' boyfriend at the time, Trisha had herpes. That's just 
Classic. Classic Gabby. She said in a tweet, which I think she deleted, if I could be any animal, I'd be a Beyonce. Can't defend you on that one. Uh, and then she's also pretty much cheapened the plight on depression by saying if you could just get a jet ski or do something you like, you'll never be depressed again. Honestly, Gabby, I would rather have the jet ski run me over than be on one. I suffer from depression and I don't think it being on a jet ski would help unless I drown in one. I don't think telling someone that depressed that that will help. However, today's video is not about that. Let's look at her TikTok. 7 million followers. Her name is Trauma Queen on it, which doesn't bode well, but TikTok is known for being a place where victims can vent. And while sometimes that can be a good thing and TikTok has a great space space for support. On the other hand, it can be a very nasty place when you vent and also overly express yourself. My heart! I loved it! And people just do not care and they seem to hate it more. So it's a very 50-50 thing and over the past day, she's just been going ham. So let's look at these videos. I don't know if that's a prayer. I just don't know what to do. Ah, man. <laughs> Guys, I'm just having fun. But can you imagine if Gabby Hanna, the fucking crucified villain of the internet from the Middle East, named after the angel Gabriel? Oh, it cut it. She cut herself off. Okay. The first comment on this video is I know a manic episode when I see one be safe home goal. And this is what we're trying to deal with. A manic episode could be the most likely possibility of the situation. She could be in real time or at the time, real time, having a lot of thoughts that she needed to get out. They feel good at the time. And of course, people looking outside will see that there is an issue. But my issue is that nobody seemed to help her throughout this because she went on to do like a hundred TikToks and nobody said a damn thing. I'm not talking about the comments. I'm talking about her family or anybody else who should be close to her. Here's issue number one. Where are her friends? Where are her close friends or family or people to keep her safe? Where is someone who can be like, you are not doing something right and I just want to make sure that you're okay. I just want to show you the right way. Where is those people? She has a big house. There's got to be someone there. What's funniest is I made it harder for myself because my faith was so strong that it scared myself! I'm sorry, I know that this video is about her. I'm just fixated on the fact that she has two frames in the background without pictures. She just framed the wall. Okay, so the next one is her writing uh, down in her journal. I feel like if you have evidence, if you're someone watching this from an outside perspective, you could see that this poor lady is having some sort of episode that needs to be helped. Right? I feel like the friends and in the six or seven years that she was on YouTube, places and people that she's seen and the friends that she's accumulated, I feel like someone needs to be caring about this woman enough to be like, okay, Gabby, I, I love you and you need some help. That's why I'm doing this because I care about you so much that I'm going to give you some help. Because if my friend started writing crazy stuff in a journal, I'd smack him with it and be like, what is wrong with you, man? That's you wrote in my journal, first of all, I have to get a new one now. Secondly, I'm gonna take you straight to the place you need to go. Kickboxes. I'm gonna show you the way. The point is, I just, I feel like people are not actually giving her the right kind of attention. Everybody's watching her, waiting for her to do something more crazy. Where are her friends who are trying to take that away and be like, Gabby, you don't need to be on social media right now. That's just gonna fuel the flame. Most people that go through manic episodes very often become loudly religious as part of neurobiology. So now Gabby Hanna starts responding to comments and she said, well, Einstein, would you look at that? Sort of inducing that she knows that she's going through one. Here's my problem with the situation. If Gabby is aware that she's having these episodes, would it not benefit her to not put it out or display it to the world? I feel like, again, it's the craving of attention for a lot of YouTubers and lack of attention throughout the decline of their careers that make them want to do these extreme things. It makes them want to act out. It's the same as child stars and their transition to adulthood when they realize, okay, I used to be this popular, now I'm not. I need to do something to get back up. And no matter how hard they try, they, they don't do it. So you have to resort to extreme measures in order for people to then turn their heads and look at you. My problem 
problem is, again, she's on camera doing this. And it makes it hard to feel a fully level of sorry for you because sometimes it's like, are you performing? Are you doing this for the camera? I know that you probably want help, but can you can you do it off camera? Can you try and get the help that you need? She acts like she's perfect. She acts like she knows everything. Why does she always think she's so much smarter than everybody else? Oh my God, she thinks her poetry is so deep. Oh, maybe you were just too fucking dumb to understand it. Okay, I'm assuming this one's about her poetry and defending it. Yeah, maybe people sucked and didn't understand your poetry. Possibly. Someone responded, genuinely concerned about you. I know we don't know each other, but everyone is here for you if you want it. And she said, pray for me. I, I think everybody is, Gabby. Everybody wants you to get better. But you gotta want to help yourself as well. I slept in this. And then I put in some jeans. Because I had to go to the store. And I had to put a shirt on too. Sometimes I was still wearing my robe. Sometimes I had this shirt on and sometimes I take it off. You know what I base it on? The temperature. I'm so afraid her titty's gonna pop out. This is like having a Janet Jackson moment over here. Just like, well, just please girl, put, th put them titty back in, please. Making music and art and hanging out with whoever I invite into my home and only going out into the world when I absolutely have to or when I feel like it. I made heaven a place on earth. That's a song. If you ever see me rolling down the street like I blessed the rain down in Africa, you know who to call. Ghostbusters or something, because I'm done for. Guess what? It literally is, if you have faith, that the voices in your fucking head are mom and dad. Jesus is literally all of us. Hey, want to hear something sick? We're all Jesus. I do have powers. So do you. You just don't have faith. So, okay, I'm sorry. This was about her getting her outfit changed. Okay, come on, guys. We have to follow along this train of thought. So, if you don't like certain things about your life, look at your relationships and realize that God literally gave you the exact mirror or opposite of yourself. Um, okay. Point number two that I need to make, or point number three, I think, is we have to ask ourselves, why did we let it get to this point? And I don't mean you guys, I just mean like as a whole. Why Why did everyone wait this long for Gabby to get to this point to have this episode before everyone started being concerned enough to do something about it? Because this can't have just happened. It's not like you just wake up one day and you're like, ah, God damn it, I'm gonna start doing this. It obviously has to build up from somewhere or something. And I feel, again, like I don't know where her parents are. I don't know much about her family. I don't know much about her friends. I don't know who her YouTube buddies are, but somebody has to have seen something. I know that she used to hang out with David Dobrik and stuff, and that is not the most coolest person to ever care about your well-being. See Jeff Whittock. So I don't know who she's hung out with, but she needs to hang out with some real people, man. So the forbidden fruit was his daughter. God gave Adam everything in the entire world for forever. He could have everything he wanted in the entire world. And he chose Eve. Does she have a bug on her neck? That really bugs me. I know, I'll leave. I, I know, I know. And they spent eternity telling each other their love through their art and their music. Every fairy tale. Romeo and Juliet, every Disney movie, everything scary and good, all of it. Tarot cards, <laughs> scary movies, ah! I, 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 you lost me. I was trying to follow that. Adam and Eve, I think, are her mom and dad. And then she said spirit, the holy spirit, Jesus and stuff. And then she said drinking spirits, vodka. You wanna risk it? Because we gave you Alice in Wonderland. Why are you kids so dumb? <laughs> Like, why are you so dumb? <laughs> Just read the literature. Stop making so much shit. Oh, you don't have enough content to consume? You're so disrespectful and narcissistic. Enjoy what's here. You know what Gabby Hanna did? She made the best of the trash she found on the fucking street. She invested her money well so that she could buy a home for her family and be comfortable and stress-free as a mother. I mean, that's the whole thing. You d Congratulations for having a great career, Gabby, but like, you're still here and people are still worried about you, Gabby. Gabby Hanna fucking won. <laughs> okay, whenever people laugh like that at me, I, I get scared. I've had a lot of people thank God 
friends reach out to me and say, Gab, I know that you're probably going through a manic episode. If I'm, if you look at all the comments, everybody, the top comments are not actually saying anything bad about her. Most people are not laughing at her. Everybody just wants her to be okay. And these videos are getting viewed millions of times. So on one hand, she knows that they're getting views. So she's, she's doing it and she's posting and that's all she's known for the past seven years. So like, okay, fine. But if millions of people are seeing this, you can't tell me one out of the million people knows someone who knows someone or could do something to help this woman. She's at the moment in her house doing manic episodes. If, if you had someone who you knew who needed help, you'd send someone over. You'd do something. Now, I think she did get a wellness check. I think eventually everyone in the chat was like, this is too much. We're not going to have Fs in the chat. We're going to have dubs in the chat. So let's send her a wellness check. And it seems like she had one and the LAPD came over, but nothing actually came of it because she's still talking and still doing this. You know, if you're not aware of the signs, da 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 da. Hey, question. Why the f is everybody on the planet so concerned about the health <laughs> of the happiest person on the planet? I'm literally dancing and singing like I've never had the ability before. My voice and my f dance keeps getting better and better. It's so fun to be able to practice all day. It's not though. I don't care if you're having the worst episode of your life. I will bring you down to reality. You still have the same ability of when you scream the word monster on Genius and the whole website broke down. No amount of delusion could ever stop that. I feel like some people on YouTube hold on to the idea that there's something to the point that they will literally die with the idea. I'm doing another video on deaf noodles and this man is so dedicated to being a comedian. He will literally ruin his career over the fact that he's not funny. These people have made great careers for themselves and I don't know why they are like, I am not willing to accept that I'm not good enough. Sometimes, unfortunately in life, not everybody is amazing at everything. That doesn't mean you're not amazing at other things. Everyone has created a great career. Gabby, you've created a great career for yourself. Please. Do me two favors. One, be okay. And two, find a tattoo removal for that bug thing, man. Why didn't I get a snake on my ass? Just from my spine to my ass. So whenever people look at it on my back, they're like, where does it lead? And I just drop my clothes and I'm like, up my ass, baby. Take a look. You hope I'm okay. Actually, okay. I'm in bed. Safe. <laughs> Listening to music. Maybe later I'll play some music. Maybe I'll paint. Maybe I'll draw. Maybe I'll sit around all day and theorize and think and philosophize, cry, stretch, do some yoga, drink some water, volunteer. All jokes aside, this is the defense mechanism, is it not? When you're being pressured, you feel like someone's attacking you even though they're just trying to help you. And maybe you're not in the clearest state of mind and you think instead of them trying to come at you with love, they're coming at you with aggression or something else and you back yourself into the corner and you try and convince yourself that, yes, I'm doing great. You're the one who's trying to hurt me, which is not what's happening. Thus, again, we need some people to really just help her in a very loving and kind way. I'm not that, because I hate everyone. Who is they? Are you okay? Because I'm channeling genius and I've allowed the spirit of the Holy Ghost possess my body. And guess what? You literally can too. Are you okay? Because I have faith that I'm in heaven and it's my responsibility to save the lives of all children, no matter what age. Do you think that if she didn't have the phone constantly, she wouldn't be saying these things? Do you think maybe if her phone was off and she wasn't able to post this to TikTok, if TikTok had silenced her platform or have said temporarily, we're just going to not indulge in this? Do you think maybe she would have had more time to think or been able to process thoughts differently? Because I think because she's given that freedom, and the ultimate freedom to do whatever she wants and she has an audience that is just growing and growing being more concerned she's just heightening up everything i think as the videos go on that's what's happening the gospels were written by poets and prophets there was never just supposed to be a second testament the new testament testify brother testify sister however when they found out that the witches um had the powers literally of christ which is what jesus died for our sins because they told us it's a history book you don't believe it like why though you know so at this point she's gone outside her house inside her house she's changed clothes like we said uh, manic episode people in the comments are realizing this 
we are now all on the same page that Gabby is not okay and we need to find a way to help her. So how can we do that? This is what's been going on. By the way, this again occurred yesterday, so I'm just catching up now. I'm assuming someone's got to know someone to say something. If we could just... It's just... It's concerning that when you see someone in need, someone who's got as many fans and as many followers as her, that not anyone can find someone who's willing to help her. I don't know if she's alienated herself from her friends. I don't know who her true friends are, but it's just really concerning that nobody can even reach out to someone and be like, can you please get in touch with this woman? So at this point, the people in the comments were actually being super smart, like Mimi, amazing comment. You're iconic. Do you think you could call a friend or some family to hang out and share wisdom with? A really amazing way of like doing this. Gabby was even reading the comments. It would have been great, but I don't think that at this point it was we anybody was able to get through to her in that level but it was a, a great attempt it's better than you need help please get help <laughs> that's just scary what was everybody expecting like the body of jesus christ okay so uh this is the video where she says the cops came the cops just came to my door because they got a call uh, saying that I was going to hurt myself or somebody else. And then they asked me about some screaming in the backyard, which I'm assuming means I got a some type of report from the neighborhood, which is thank you. God bless you, neighbors. Anyway, um, the screaming that I was doing in my backyard last night was me screaming encouragement to you because I got to create hell. And the hell that I created for you guys, no really, believe me if you want, was I got to open your eyes and ears to whatever I wanted. Are you guys honestly telling me the cops came and Gabby talked to them the way that she talks to us and they left without anything? That's absurd. There's only two things that could have happened. Either the cops were super incompetent or Gabby talked to them somehow normally to the fact that they were like, seems okay, and left. And I don't know which one it is. I don't know her well enough to know if she would be talking like this on camera and then as soon as they come, she's like, no, I'm fine. And then they're like, oh, okay, we thought that you were having some... Okay, never mind. This is mind-boggling. Hey, dear neighbors, genuinely thank you for the concern. Last night when I screamed out into the wilderness, not knowing if you guys could hurt me, but did it anyway because I had my faith, I killed my f***ing ego and- I just hate that every time she puts one article of clothing on, she takes another one off. This is like playing Jenga attire or something. Like, I was, I was like, put a shirt on, she's like, alright, but here's my pants off. This woman needs to be cool in some area at every given time. What if God was one of us? Just a slob like one of us Just a stranger on the bus Trying to make his way This better not be a ploy for her singing because I looked at her YouTube channel and the last thing she has is a video saying, and I quote, I sold my soul and she was singing. It was one of her tours or something. And I hope that it's not just advertising because sometimes we have known YouTubers to go to extreme lengths to do that. I don't think this is that and I, I don't want to accuse her of that. Of course not. But at the same time, every now and again she sings and I get a little worried. Anyway, moving on. Yeah, like, it's not just me. Please don't let this be a marketing stunt because so many are triggered right now. So I really hope that it's not, uh, I, I don't think it is, like I said, but I really just hope that she's not just playing around like this. The game of life, the game that you don't have to win, you get to play, has been a fucking video game this whole time. They just have better materials. The thing with Gabby is that, again, like, you know, I'm feeling sorry, I'm feeling all these emotions, but I'm looking at the fact that she is charging her phone, very well aware that her audience is watching. Because if you're having this episode and you're fully 
in your own head, you're not going to look at your phone battery because I know I barely look at it on a normal day and I'm like, why is it black? Then like maybe an hour later, I'm like, oh, it died, didn't it? So I just don't know where the line is drawn, if you know what I mean. She, she might be having these episodes, but at the same time, she's aware and self-aware enough to know, oh, I need to charge my phone so I can keep doing this for the audience. And it's just a great divide for me and I don't know how to feel about that. Guys, it's always been a battle of the sexes, <laughs> literally, and it got to a point where it's like, guys, they're getting confused, literally, there, you're not transgender, it's okay to feel feminine and masculine and wear whatever the fuck you want and love whoever you want as, as long it is, as it is not children, that is our forbidden fruit. Don't, don't, don't say children are the forbidden fruit, don't. You can have everything on the planet. It's available. I swear to f mother f***ing God. It's mother f***ing God now. It's not even God anymore. It's mother f***ing God. Have you ever got down to pray on your knees and you're like, f***, f Just let me have it, Jesus. That's the new kind of prayer, man. This is the newest testament for me. I'm not afraid to say that because they gave me permission. And I've been in timeout for too fucking long. So, but still forgive me just in case. Mom, dad, fucking for forgive me. I love you. Where are her actual mom and dad though? Her parents not close with her? Because this is something that parental guidance could, could be very much used here in this situation, please. <laughs> like this whole time, all of man is seeking answers. How does this toy work? <laughs> like why aren't you tired oh because kids explore dude but we have the answers just ask the tree of knowledge was given to everyone like what is going on why is nobody eating the fruit it's all of ours and Gabby Hanna's the only person who figured it out. Here's a comment on this video. 10,000 views in 3 minutes of uploading. You can't tell me no one knows her personality has seen this. Why is everyone ignoring her? What I think is happening is Gabby seems to know that people are watching. And she's been gaining followers from this. There's been a lot of followers being gained. I think at the start of the day, she was at like 7 million. She's looking at 7.6 million followers now. Traction is gaining as we speak. And Gabby Hanna is somehow at the end of the day getting her intent a result of having more people watch and be involved in her content whether it is good or bad it is happening it's scary that people aren't just ignoring her in the sense that they're not actually engaging with the bad stuff but only doing what is necessary to get her the help that she deserves first words be careful with your grammar and your spelling kids every symbol you write holds power the pen is mightier than the sword. Do you know what? Let me search up her friends. Who is... Hmm. Okay, it looks like the only friends that she seems to have had are like David Dobrik or Tana Mojo. Or some other people there. Trisha Paytas. She needs to get some real friends. But that looks like the reason why nobody's coming to her aid. You know the Mandela effect? They're fucking... <laughs> So in this video where someone said queen who is dying, she responded and I'm looking at the comments and one of the comments says, a dream came true. Everyone is watching again, but for all the wrong reasons. And this is why it's just so hard to fully see where she's coming from. Because like I said, I know that a YouTuber who's probably dipped in views and then wanted to become a singer or wanted her career to flourish is having people watch again by doing this. However, they're not doing it for any reason other than concern and genuine scared or frightened frightenedness 
for someone's safety, which is just like, you want people to watch you, but not for this. You just don't want this. And this is what Gabby's doing. For anyone wondering, this is the 123rd video posted today, and that's not even counting the deleted one. So we're at 123. Uh, someone also typed in, Hi, I'm the one who called the LAPD at 1.02am for the wellness check. I just wanted to make sure you're okay. And they said they were informed earlier in the day. But you didn't answer your door and they told me they would send another unit again. Just wanted to make sure you're okay. I hope you feel better. So it looks like in another wellness check, Gabby didn't even come to the door, which is really, really bad. I feel like there's got to be a way to maybe get in and check because that's really concerning. If she's not coming outside of her house, then how can people go in her house unless they have cause to go in? The brave, wise men of the precinct who traveled to me tonight, thank you. And because I cannot tell a lie, because I do not want to be punished by my mother and my father, I'm going to follow through on my promise to the officer and post this video and tell you guys again that I'm okay. Are you? <laughs> So I don't know if the people got into her house. I don't know if she didn't let them in, but she says she's okay and then asks if we're okay again. Clearly, there's some sort of discommunication. There's uh, some disconnect happening where the police uh, have not seen this woman is having an episode. Something I learned today, the officers came for a wellness check and I asked them if any of them wanted a hug and they all said they wouldn't like one. Maybe it would have saved my life i'm okay don't worry about me though could have saved my life well well okay but the officers can't actually do that uh while on duty and stuff i don't believe so so i, I don't know why i'm explaining it like it's gonna matter oh. and another thing i've had to learn is humility but i do want to remind everybody that because i can do all things through christ who is my savior i am an accomplished author of two poetry books that two people have read i know new york times best selling books to the family best selling poetry books right poetry is a stretch i have around or more than 20 million followers around the entire world and some of them left me and some of them betrayed me and I never stop being kind and loving everything I have and making the best of it and dedicating my life to saving the world and channeling genius and the power that so many men have used for corporate greed. And I figured out how to channel it for humanity. Is it because I'm a woman of color what? What? I'm sorry. I was I honestly was falling asleep a little bit. That woke me the shit up. Did you say woman of color? What? The color white? I thought that was shade. Hey guys, it's actually kind of stressful being a woman of color, a young woman of color, in a white as rich country neighborhood. I was, I, I was accepting a lot of the stuff she said at face value. I just, does she walk in the mirror and see Nicki Minaj or something? What, what am I missing? God damn. Yeah. I keep telling you guys that. I'm Middle Eastern. Is she? I didn't know she was Middle Eastern. Oh, wow. The first comment says, girl, you're from Pennsylvania. Oh, Jesus. I traveled from Lebanon, a Maronite crusader of the Catholic Church. The Maronite Church, not the Roman Empire. Yeah, so she got marinated or something like that. I don't know. So, yeah, here's a comment on a video of her singing. Does she not have a PR team or something? God damn. Does she? That's exactly what I'm saying. Does she not have a manager or something? Or is the manager so conniving, the PR team so conniving, that they know Gabby is going through something and they know that her stunts will get people watching whatever it is that she is doing? Where is the line that is being drawn here between humanity, mental health, and 
money. What's good for a person, what they actually need versus their episodes or actions getting them to have money. What's more important to you? For me and for most people on the internet, well-being comes first. But sometimes in Hollywood and in areas like this, people get treated like actual garbage cans. And so I'm not sure where her PR team is, but they are very, very absent from the situation. And now she is bombarding my ears with the, the, the sweet serenading sounds of James Taylor if he got choked by a rabbi. I'm the ghost you never believed in. Couldn't love you till the end. Oh, I broke up with all of my demons. Where am I? Don't I officers, don't shoot. Now friends, thank you for your concern. Today was my day off. I wasn't planning on being on social media today because I'm a recovering social media addict. Yeah, clearly, 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 clearly someone's not taking the phone. You seem to have the only iPhone battery in the world that can outlast Usain Bolt in a 100 meter dash. I don't know why your battery life is longer than my love for KFC. I don't know how the hell you managed to do that. Your addiction to social media is getting everybody from around the world concerned about your safety and well-being. By the way, guys, I have to do this for the rest of my life here on this earth. Unless you guys just decide to, like, wise up. And, um, I'm really tired. <sighs> Thanks for waking me up. Don't blow into the camera. <sighs> to you too, man. I was just trying to help you out, Gabby. I'm just as tired as you. I actually started the video wide awake. I'm falling asleep. I just, I just want to know how to help this woman. I think theory number four, maybe a way that we could help is by not giving her attention. Maybe if there are less comments and less engagement with her posts on TikTok and people watch her silently without actually engaging, maybe she won't feel the need to do this as much. I feel like she does read the comments because she does reply to them. So the less there are, maybe she will come down faster or be able to get the help that she needs. So this is the part of the video when it gets uh, very, very weird. Somehow, in the 130, 40 videos that she posted, a man named Nicholas, who is a fan or claims to be, found her address, drove to her place, and invited himself inside, saying he needs to use the bathroom. Of course, Gabby Hanna, not being in the greatest position, said, come on in, take a piss all over my toilet. Don't even flush. She then befriended him. And the story gets weirder. Nicholas? Hey, Nicholas, do you mind being on camera or you don't want to? I don't mind, I don't mind. Okay, so I want to, oh my god, my hair. A friend just texted me and I told him that I was going to go on a run for a guy who showed up at my house and was just feeling a little lost, asked to use the bathroom, and now we're going to go for a run together. He asked to pray with me. It was really nice. And his text was, Gab, listen to me now. Get that man out of your house. How do you feel about that? That's rude. So wait, your friend is texting you, but nobody's actually coming to see you. I don't care how far you are away. I feel like if your friends really care about you and they're not walking, then somebody's got to see you. Now there's a stranger in your house and none of your friends are even concerned enough to be like, hmm, I, I think I need to help. Because if there was a stranger in my friend's house and he was like, hey, she just asked to use the toilet. She just said, let me take a in your toilet and uh, let me see what happens. I will come over to the house with more than just a plumbing kit. I'm going to I'm gonna throw that woman out the house. House, uh, uncle full style to jazz in Fresh Prince of Bel-Air because nobody nobody doing that to my friends I don't know why her friend stopped and doesn't care more than just a text But there is a man who's a stranger in a house now and they seem to be best of friends This dollar store looking Drew Gooden is in Gabby Hanna's house. Apparently he's dancing behind her now This is just a sitcom Okay, so she's having a manic episode and somehow a stranger is there and now this man is dancing with her. <sighs> this is like a Black Mirror episode mixed with Seinfeld. It's Blackfeld. I feel like he's so comfortable while only knowing her for three, four seconds. I feel like if I walked into my neighbor's house and just sat on the couch and started eating their chips, I don't know if it would go down as well as, hey, what is this brown man doing in my f***ing house? All right, and they just they just keep dancing. Ah, oh, 
He's been behind her in all of the videos. I know that sounds wrong. He's been behind her. And then they do stupid coast thing. Where is he? Oh, here's a comment. Nicholas found her address online and physically drove there. Good intentions or not. That's crossing a line and he's definitely making things worse. Because he's not helping her or taking her to the places that she needs to be. I don't even know who this Nicholas dude is. He just wanted to take a piss. Now he's living in her house. So. You guys really thought that license plates weren't code? And you told me I was crazy for seeing it because you were too scared because you haven't talked to daddy in a long time because you've been a bad little girl me not not me does she she's calling me she's i feel like she's threatening me and she said daddy and but it wasn't the good one um can yeah can we just figure out why Nicholas is able to walk around the house and the fact that it's a stranger means it's very scary because he has access to your private domicile so uh you know maybe that's an issue but anyway I laugh and talk to myself all day Nick yes Nicholas how happy are we so happy so the happy. woman was too stunned to speak wanna laugh your ass off this is a stranger I know it's a stranger, Gabby. I know it's a stranger. That's the problem, actually. Your boy Nicholas is a stranger and never even knew that he could come into your house. And it's playing out like a GTA NPC mission where two NPCs are interacting in a way that they shouldn't. Do what you just did. I'll share my water with you. Literally, bots. Guys, if you show kindness to bots, they get artificial intelligence and they might take over the world. Oh. <laughs> okay, so at this point, Nick was in the house. I think Gabby had a moment of clarity where she realized Nick is a dick and tells him to get out. By the way, Nick, yes. I know you know who I am. Come on. Why did you lie to me this whole time? Why what did you lie this? to me? That's for my acne, you dumb b now 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 so she kicks nick out and i don't know what happens after this just in the nick of time huh that was a that was a good one she's yeah she's getting oddly sexual with the dancing but what happened to nick daddy always protects his little ruby baby girl don't ever forget it because i'm in heaven and you're all still in hell and if i don't save you i won't be as well at this point in the comment section we're getting other blue tick tiktok people who are responding asking her to get help but nobody as usual is able to get through to her or be clear enough again we're just looking for someone who's close to do something at this point she said someone just broke into my house please just pray for me in case the next post i'll just read to you she now seems to have known what happened she said yesterday a man came came to my door asking for my restroom. I was on the phone with my hometown girly, so I let him in. I had him say his name out loud and pointed out it was so lucky my friend got to join us in prayer on the phone. I offered him some coffee. He didn't drink any. He must have realized that he'd be leaving behind DNA. Luckily, he still left me his fingerprints, his face, and his name. I was then cuffed and detained by five officers who busted in my house through the back door because I exercised my free speech and religion. They then sent two psych evaluation specialists who almost dragged me off to a hospital but luckily i'm smart educated kind and brave so apparently people did come and they did not see that she was bad or in a bad state of mind dad just asked me to tell you guys that i no longer have access to my instagram and my twitter because i didn't want it and that everything that goes on instagram and twitter now <laughs> dad <laughs> The North Star. <laughs> I'm analyzing her last and most recent video. It was four hours ago from the time of actually seeing this. And she said, dad has taken away my Twitter and Instagram. Which I don't know if she means her actual dad or her God or Sky Daddy or whatever she's talking about. The less access she has to on her platforms, it's probably for the better. This is 200 plus videos in. It's been happening over a day and a bit. 
it doesn't seem to be slowing down. So there is a cause for concern. Everyone who can see this is very concerned. I think at the end of the day, what we need to do is band together and figure out a way to make sure that someone checks on her for a long period of time or stays and sits with her because it's actually not working that police or anybody who's coming in for a few minutes just seems to be like, oh, if you're not going to hurt yourself or anyone else, we're just going to leave. We need someone to actually be there and be proactive in helping get this lady towards the help that she needs. How can we do that? I'm not sure who knows her or who knows someone that can get her the help she needs. I can see that there are a lot of uh, blue ticks in the comment section from what I was reading. I am well aware that she has so many fans and friends and I know that the with the amount of money and fame and reach that she has, someone has got to be able to sit with her and make her feel comfortable or get her out of the state. I think what we can do as people and as audience and if you're on TikTok watching or if you can help spread this message is to make sure that on TikTok and stuff people do not engage with her because I think it'll help her a lot if she doesn't have an audience to perform to so to speak because she even admitted it herself that she's addicted to clout or was addicted to social media and I think not being able to have that platform to speak in that way will get her to think or to calm down and maybe getting someone to talk to her directly instead of talking to the audience will get her to stop over exerting her energy and time and effort. I'm I'm sorry this video hasn't been like super funny or anything. I don't know if it was necessary for me to do that. I think I was just very concerned about a human being and I still am. At the end of the day, for me and I think a lot of people who watch YouTube and are on it, this is just another person and, and I can sympathize with the situation. I think that it's really scary to watch someone in real time have this happen to them and I just want to see if she's okay. If anybody has any information, leave it down below. Please talk to people about the situation. Make sure that this woman is okay because she is a human being first and foremost and even if you're a fan of her or someone who's not a fan of her I think we can all agree that we need to make sure that everyone is okay before we can then do anything else so Gabby if you're somehow watching this which you're not because you're probably busy posting TikToks please consider getting help we care and we just want to see you okay. Thank you everyone for watching this video. I'm so sorry. It's like this. If you're normally watching any of my other videos, you could slap my ass for the next one because I was not very funny this video. I'm just a concerned human being. For what it's worth though, this wasn't as concerning as Dandelion, her book. That just... Sorry. Okay, I'm done. <sighs> Love you guys. Please take care everyone. Please take care of yourselves. Thank you. Amen. Goodbye.